the two buildings that we are seismically retrofitting are being brought to the level where they will be deemed life safe should there be an 8.5 on the Richter scale. Having major construction in the middle of a very busy hospital was a difficult decision to make. We're more keeping our eyes open to technologies that are out there and how they can be applied to the problems that we have. When the columns were first designed for the building, their footings go down roughly eight to 10 feet. Each of those columns is reinforced by micropiles that drill down 52 to 60 feet. Micro piles are essentially um, like large screws that screw the foundations into the soils. It's funny, we think of mega projects in this business as being new towers. As complicated and challenging as that is, that is a walk in the park compared to working side-by-side -side clinical operations. How are we going to install these micro piles within an operating main lobby of the hospital that has a ceiling above you. We didn't want a construction site in our public lobby. Just that simple, it might be one, but we don't want to see it, we don't want to hear it. Now we're in the main lobby of the hospital and there's construction going on right inside this hospital lobby today and has been for the last nine months. That whole logistic effort requires a level of teamwork unlike anything you would see in um, building a new tower behind a fence. I was updating some of our physicians on the progress of our construction. One physician said, oh, there's been construction going on. I didn't even notice. We don't deliver projects over budget. We don't deliver projects behind schedule. We do that through design build. In a design build environment where you're working with the contractors and you're solving constructability issues, is perfect. I'm absolutely passionate about design build. I, I honestly believe it is the superior delivery method. The project is on time, uh, on schedule, and on budget. I don't think you can have a successful project if you don't have a high performance team behind it. The people who are on the Swinerton team, the KPFF team, the Sharp team, they're just the right people who attack the problem in a smart way. This job has just been a, a Great example of phenomenal structural engineering, uh, great technology breakthroughs, and just the, the best culture of team coordination and performance. Our hospital has really benefited from this relationship working together with Swinerton. You know, great people working together in trust and respect can do phenomenal things.